Hey, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today we're going to review the CRKT CEO. This knife is so beautiful that people are actually giving it to their fiancés instead of an engagement ring. Stay with me now. Hey folks, welcome back. So yeah, today we're gonna to talk about the CRKT CEO. This knife is so beautiful that you could dip this in gold and use it as a trophy on your desk. It really is that pretty. This is a fun knife to review. It does have some things that I'm gonna tell you about that is some cautionary issues, but for the most part, I really, really do like this knife and, and that is the first thing you need to know. But if you're brand new to the channel, the first thing I'd like you to do is consider subscribing. I drop videos at least twice a week. I throw in live streams occasionally now. I talk about all things related to preparedness, survival, a little bit of bushcraft in there. I do gardening for food self-sufficiency. We talk about financial survival for when times get really bad. You know, if you have a financial emergency or we have hyperinflation or economic collapse, I would love to have you subscribe. If you're one of my returning viewers, thank you so much for all the support. Please remember to give a thumbs up at some point during the video. And if you could, please consider watching till the end. It really helps me out in trying to build some good watch time here on the platform. I really appreciate you all. All right, so you know I like to do knife reviews. I have several up there. I will link the knife review playlist in the end. Depending on what you're watching this video on, there'll be, there may be end cards at the end where I recommend a few videos for you as well. All right, so this here, my friends, is the CRKT CEO, and it is a beauty. The box is very, very simple. It just kind of comes in one of their plain old CRKT boxes. Not really much to show there. It wasn't even worth doing an unboxing. All right, let's get right into it. So this is a design by Richard Rogers. And one thing I really like about CRKT knives is they tend to seek the planet for some of the best knife designers out there, the most innovative knife designers. And that's why I'm such a big fan of CRKT. This one is from Richard Rogers. The blade length is 3.11 inches. Length open is 7.63 inches. Length closed is 4.45 inches. The weight is 2.10 ounces. The blade steel is 8 CR13 MOV with a satin finish. I'll give you a nice good look at it here. The blade thickness is 2.18 millimeters thick, so it is a very, very thin profile. Now, a knife like this, you shouldn't be using your knife to pry things anyways, but we all know that like we do, right? This is not one that I would recommend that you do this with. I think the potential for tip breakage is probably there. I'm not going to torture test mine. If somebody wants to sponsor me and give me a free one, I will be happy to torture test it and I will beat the crap out of it and show you the results of that. One of the features that I really love about this is this handle design. I don't know if you can try to get this in the camera for you. It's got like a carbon fiber pattern, but it's not textured at all. It is very, very smooth. Okay. And that is glass reinforced nylon. Now the lock is a liner lock. Okay. Works good. You can definitely do it one handed to close it down. And you know, people are going to have a lot of fun with that. Just kind of playing around with it and getting it to uh, drop close, that kind of thing. Okay. The pocket clip is, let's talk about this. This is a deep pocket clip and some people have had issues with this one where there there's there's some complaints that this is breaking off. I haven't had that issue with mine. Uh, CRKT has really good customer service. So if that happens, you know, I would say contact them. When we get to the end, I'll tell you why, you know, there are some limitations to this knife. As much as I do love this knife, uh, there's some ways that I don't recommend using it. Okay, you know, when you watch Sarge's knife reviews, I, already talk, I always talk about a couple things. Number one is that centering which just shows really good craftsmanship. And as I would expect with a knife with this kind of design where there's really a lot of attention to the look of it, it does have very, very good centering. And of course, I've got no protrusion of the blade tip. So there's, you know, there's no risk of accidentally cutting yourself when it's in your pocket. Okay, features. This does have a thumb assist, okay? There is another version of this that has a small flipper. I, I usually will opt for a flipper assist as opposed to a thumb assist, but because of the design of this, I just felt like that flipper actually takes away from it a little bit. This is just personal preference as, you know, your, your opinion is definitely just as valid as mine. Just for this type of knife, 
this type of knife, I wanted that thumb assist. Now, some people don't like it because they say it's a little bit tricky to get it out. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice is what you're gonna have to do. Unlike other thumb assists on other knives, you're actually gonna have to uh, give this, a, a, the angle of pressure is going to be like that, okay? So it's not out, it's not up, it's diagonal that way. I know that sounds weird. But when you play around with it, you'll get it down and it is very, very slick, very, very smooth once you get the hang of it. Now, what makes this knife so slick is it has a proprietary ball bearing system in there. It's called the IKBS Pivot Ball Bearing System. And that was designed by Flavio Acoma and Rick Lala. So that is a proprietary system. And once you, like I said, once you get the handle for that uh, thumb assist, it is very, very slick, okay? And one of the things I really like about this blade is, is how good that feels once you get the hang of it, okay? And then, you know, of course you can do the, the drop closure. It's just, you know, you're just having fun with your knives. All right, so with all of my CRKT knives, I've never had a problem with sharpness out of the box. You know, that kind of steel, the 8CR13 MOV, does occasionally need to be touched up, but it's super easy to touch up. It's not gonna hold an edge quite as well as a high carbon steel, but, with the high carbon steel, a lot of times you have the corrosion issues going on with it. So you have to, you know, the, with when you're making choices with steel, there's always a trade-off. Not expecting any issues here, but let's do a quick sharpness test with the Paracord 550. And there's one strand. Oh my gosh, <laughs> like cutting through hot butter. <laughs> like cutting through soft butter, sorry. Hot knife through butter. I'll get it right. I promise you I'll get it right. Okay, two strands. Wow. I mean... It's like a razor, folks. Almost, almost like a razor. Let's do three strands, but I, I again, I, I don't think you're gonna have an issue with, with sharpness out of the box, out of this or any CRKT knives in my experience. You know, and, and knives that need occasional touch-up, I, I kind of like that, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just like nothing. That was three strands. Um, that's Paracord 550. So it just kind of gives you an idea. You know, you could, there's probably other videos out there where they show different ways to test it. That's how I usually like to test my knives out of the box. So I, I don't mind working with my blades and doing sharpening. I, you know, it's kind of like showing some love to them. Just like some people like to do cleaning with their pew 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 item. I, I like working with my blades, you know? It's, uh, so, you know, you learn to sharpen them and it's something I learned at a very young age in Boy Scouts. I'll, I'll link some sharpeners down in the description below, the ones that I use. And also, of course, I'll link this in the description if you use my links to purchase any of that. It helps me out a little bit. I get a very, very tiny commission and it makes you a superhero. All right, so let's let's kind of wrap it up with this one. So what what do I what do I like about this? What are, how would I use it? This is how I usually do the the end of my knife review videos. This is a gentleman's carry. I mean, it's called the CEO. It is not, I, I would not use this if you're in construction for your everyday carry. You know, like it's just not. It's not meant to do that kind of work. This is for, it's a very, very sexy, sexy letter opener. It's a, it can certainly cut open boxes and things like that. I wouldn't, it's too pretty to beat on. Could it take it? Probably, it's gonna probably take some, some abuse, but it's too pretty to do. Why would you do that with this? This is a show off knife, right? This is the one that you wear to your friend's house and you, you pull it out of your pocket and you're like, yo, check this out. And it is a showstopper. Like everybody I show this to, they're like, wow, that, that is a pretty looking knife. I mean, it is a really nice design. It is just sexy, you know? Um, I would definitely use this as my EDC if I was, you know, going out to dinner with my wife to a nice restaurant, which we do do. It's perfect for this, a nice pair of dress pants. You know, it's so sleek, it doesn't have a profile. People actually think it's a pen. It's a good desk knife. It's a good going over your friend's house for dinner kind of knife. It's, you know, it's the CEO, so. If there's, if you wanted some other type of like heavy duty knife, you know, the M16, M21, you know, for around the same price, I, I had, I beat the crap out of that knife and it's still functional. And I still use it sometimes as my, my EDC and do stuff with it that you probably shouldn't do with your, you know, your pocket knives, like prying and things like that. So this one's just too pretty to do that too. I love this knife. It's going to be used a lot. It's going to get a lot of love. You'll see it in a lot of my videos when I'm doing opening mail and things like that. I will absolutely, absolutely wear this out to out to dinner. I will bring this to friend's house when you do the, you know, showing off of what's your EDC pocket dump. It is a pretty knife. And I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, it is uh, tip down. 
tip down carry, right? So some people prefer tip up, this is a tip down carry. Without heavily modifying your knife, there's no way to switch that up, okay? All right, so that is the CRKT CEO. Uh, I am really, really enjoying this knife. It is, It has been a fun one and I was, you know, looking forward to, I've been looking forward to get this this video out. I wanted to really showcase the beauty of this thing. I mean, it is just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. This is, if you're a knife lover, this is a nice one to have in your collection. Does it have some limitations? Yeah, if you if you are doing, you know, heavy duty work with it, I probably would save this for other situations like, you know, going out to eat and that kind of stuff. You know, think about something that you can get more for a beater that can take a lot of abuse. And I'm not saying this one can't, I just don't know because mine's, mine's too nice, I'm not gonna beat it up. And if your partner's wanting an engagement ring, just think about that they probably want one of these instead, right? You know, and that will make them really, really happy. And when they uh, when they react to it, you can say, see, you know, Sarge told me that this is what you'd really want, okay? Yeah, that ought to get me some hate mail. Hey, if you enjoyed this knife review, I'll put uh, another one of my knife reviews up here. And of course, if you are, depending on how you're watching this, if you have end cards, I'll, I'll give you some examples there. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description. I really appreciate you all. Don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Keep planting your seeds. Keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.